So people are actually upset over the price of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Like, this is seriously what people are like. People are complaining, oh, where's our ports? Where's our, where's our games? Why don't Nintendo bring back the old games? And when Nintendo does, people complain. It's like, Nintendo's always the villain in all of these. When you have Ubisoft charging $120 if you want to play the full game, or the game developers, you know, they charge the game for full price, and, you ha and then you have half the game, like, walk behind another a really expensive DLC, you know. People complain about an old game being 60 Really? We're both discussing that's way too expensive. Expecting 40, 60 for Donkey Kong Country is what we could cool, By the way, I don't care how good the game is, and I'm not, I'm not buying the game. I'm just telling you because I already have the game on the Wii and the, the PDS. It'll just be sixty dollars another get another Donkey Kong Country's port that I won't play. So yeah, <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't complete. But yeah, basically, you know, we believe that we least best point four. We rested and we'll play the offset a little as well. But a lot of people, uh, you know, the 60 price is dollar price reasonable. But people also have to realize that there's inflation and stuff like that. You know, games are more expensive than they were. I are technically cheaper if you look at inflation. Okay. Because a $60 game in 2008, for example, will be way, actually, way more expensive than a game, than a $60 game now. Okay. Will be, you know, they, yeah, they have not really changed the price of games until very recently, where they try to push $30 games because of greed and stuff. But I was looking forward for this, but 60 Mickey, Epic Mickey is not the only one. But of course, Nintendo's always the villain in every single thing, in everything, in everything. Of course, Nintendo's the most evil company according to some people online. You know, Nintendo's the most evil company, and it's just so funny that these people are still upset over the price of games. And they'll be like, this is why we buy with video games. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.